I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Sagittarius, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Six of Cups and it's with the Two of Pentacles. Now the Six of Cups can be a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always, connected with children or childhood. It's important though not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can actually become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, it's with the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles can be about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Because multitasking is not your friend when you get the Two of Pentacles. It is not your friend, so you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. Maybe your financial situation needs to be more balanced, so be sure that you're paying attention there. So, Sagittarius, the recent past energy, like I said, the Six of Cups clarified by this Two of Pentacles for you and your person. I'm picking up that for some of you, for some of, for some of you, you're not with this person. You're not with your person. Because the Six of Cups can indicate that if you're with someone, the relationship or connection needs to be refocused towards the future. Try new things, new goals and dreams. But on occasions, uh, the Six of Cups can signify the reappearance of an old lover. So, for most of you, I'm just getting this feeling that you're not with your person. You're on their mind have heavily. You're, you're really on this person's mind. They're thinking that if they reached out to you, you would be too busy for them. You would, even if you're not busy, they feel like if they reached out to you, You'd make busy, or you'd pretend to be busy, or you just would not find time and energy for them. That's what they're thinking. But there's someone that uh, is really, really thinking about you. Thinking about all the happy memories that the two of you have made, but they think that you would not have, you would not make time for them. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Two of Swords, and it's with the Empress. Now the Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going at least somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, business. However, you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in these and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you are not, it may be time to bring things back in a balance. Now, this will almost require open communication. It requires a lot of talk. 
Now it's with the Empress. The Empress does not play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now this does not mean that she'll always get her way, but the Empress is actually a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. It's about coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. Because there's many types of wealth and riches in life, and money is actually only one of them. But just know, as the Empress, yeah, the Empress can encompass all of them. The Empress can have it all. So, coming up for you and your person, two of swords clarified by the Empress. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure if this is someone that's from your past that's thinking about you. And they're probably afraid to reach out, but it looks like they coming up, they could probably be reaching out. Because this two of swords is showing that um, you're, you're choosing to avoid and block this person. Yeah, this person is very attracted to you with the Empress here. Um, they could have deep love for you because the Empress is about deep love and attraction. But it looks like you're, you're choosing or you're thinking if they did reach out that that's what you're going to do. Avoid and block. That's what the Two of Swords does. Yeah, this person is very drawn to you. Very much so. You're heavily on their mind. They already know that you're not going to find time for them. And it looks like that's what, you, that's what you'll be doing coming up. Two of Swords. Avoiding and blocking this person. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. we got the King of Cups. And it's with the Ace of Swords. Now the King of Cups. It speaks of a balanced male and feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often he indicates the actual man or person in your life. Usually, when he represents a live person, it's referring to a very kind and loving individual. This person will generally have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get the King of Cups in the reading. Yeah, whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups, just know that those are two of the most loving energies in the tarot. It's all about love, kindness, and compassion. The King of Cups. With this, there's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is. So nurture yourself and allow your person to nurture you. Now, it's with the Ace of Swords. This Ace of Swords, it can indicate a new beginning of some sort in your life, possibly on several fronts. Just know that sometimes this new beginning, it gets started by a separation of some kind. Could be from a relationship, from a job, or maybe a situation. But just know that as anxiety producing, as such a new beginning can sometimes be underneath it all, it's, act, it's actually really good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go and, and where you need to be. So the challenge, Sagittarius, King of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Swords. So yeah. The challenge is that yeah, you got someone here that's wanting to or they're offering you their cup of love. <clears throat> that's what's in the King the King of Cups hand. It's a cup of love. So someone is reaching out to you. I'm getting it's the same person from this recent past energy. 
that you've chosen to avoid and block and that they're very drawn to you, attracted to you. This person has a lot of love for you. Empress is about deep love. King of Cups is about love. Yeah. They're reaching out being um, very kind and compassionate. Um, but it looks like you got this huge sword here. The Ace of Swords is about cutting out something. So Sagittarius, I'm I'm getting you ready to sh you're ready to cut this out because you want a new beginning. You want a new lease on life, or maybe there's someone new that you you're wanting to go towards. Yeah, it could be, could be, yeah. But it's about a new beginning you want, and it looks like you you're ready to just cut this King of Cups out. You're not interested in 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 what they have in that cup. No, you want, it looks like you want, a, you actually want a new beginning. That sword is so huge, it keeps popping out of all the cards in this deck. Actually, you've got quite a few swords in this reading. Two of swords, ace of swords, and you got this queen of swords for the outcome. Yeah, such chairs, you're not interested in, somebody's interested in you. In a big way. You're making busy. You're blocking them. And you're cutting them out. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We've got the Queen of Swords. And it's with the Page of Pentacles. Now this Queen of Swords can point to a woman in your life. This woman is not to be trifled with. She could have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. If this is not a person, it can stand for the need for you to be forceful. She can point to the need for you to be forceful, put it that way, and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. So you may need to put your foot down. The Queen of Swords can indicate that your instincts, they're serving you well. You already know what you want and what you need. Now you just have to go after it. Queen of Swords, a very forceful energy. And a lot of people find this energy really abrasive. Now, it's with the Page of Pentacles, which can be a card about boredom in some ways. So you could be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for just a little bit of excitement. But you want to rethink the impulse, find a better use of your energy. We all know that excitement, it can be created. Now the Page of Pentacles is a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. It brings focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So your challenge, Sagittarius, not your challenge, your outcome. Your outcome, Sagittarius, Queen of Swords, clarified by Page of Pentacles. So yeah, like I said, you're, you're over this person, who, who, whomever this is, reaching out to you, offering you. Love, kindness, compassion, whoever this is that's very attracted to you. Um, like I said, you're on their mind in a really, really big way. That's all they do. They think about you morning, noon, and night. Every day. Constantly. Um, they, they got the impression they already know that you're going to avoid and block them. They can feel it, and it looks like that's what you're doing. You're making busy, even if you're not busy. Um, you're putting your foot down, though, for this outcome. That's what it's showing. You're being very forceful with them. You're just letting them know, point blank, you're on to something new. You're ready for an, an, a new beginning. And it's not with them. Um, Page of Pentacles is showing that you're bored. With whatever they have to say, whatever they're reaching out to you with, you're over it. Page of Pentacles is about 
yeah, boredom. So, it's showing that you're going to let this person know that you're over it. And that it's time for it to be done. And you just, you're probably going to be very forceful, cold, and abrasive. You're probably, probably going to use some words or say some things that are not really nice. So, that is the reading that I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Sagittarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Sagittarius reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind the roles can be switched when you get these readings. Yes, you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a situation, maybe even a co-worker. So, just keep that in mind when you get the readings because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So, Sagittarius, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'm wishing you all happy holidays. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.